This tutorial is going to show you how to use the Start Your Research tool at the ALCAC Library. Start Your Research simply means this blank, located slightly off-center, on the main library page. You type in your topic and it searches most of what we own. Before we begin, I should point out it doesn't search everything we own, so you may wish in the future to search the library catalog or research databases for a definitive listing of our resources. Let's get started. I'm going to type in some keywords. So we've got some results on the screen and this is going to put together journal articles, magazines, books, government documents, and a few other kinds of sources. If you see a full text icon underneath the record then you know you'll be able to read that item on the screen. Let me show you what a physical book record looks like in Start Your Research. This is a book in the library, a physical book, and it has a call number at the bottom of the record. It tells you if it's available and what floor of the library it's on. Another type of record that you may see is an ebook. And you can see here, here's an example of that. So, Start Your Research is going to include a large variety of different kinds of sources. If you ever want to limit your results to a particular format, say academic journals or magazines, if you look over on the left side of the screen, there's a way to do that. We're going to select academic journals because that's what we want to see in this example. And we're going to update. And now we're getting only the academic journal articles back. Again, the PDF full text icon will give you access to the full text of the article. I'll show you how that works. You just click on it. blow this up and there is your article. I'll call your attention to the right side of the screen. You can email the article to yourself. You can put it in a folder. Now I will add if you do this it will store the item so you can go and find it later. Just make sure you are signed in at the top here so it will know what you saved. If you don't sign in it won't be waiting for you when you come back. You can also custom select the databases that you're searching. If you look over on the left hand side of your screen to databases, I'm going to select show more and you can custom select the three or four databases that you'd like to search. You might want to do this if you're getting too many results with Start Your Research that goes through all of these things and you need to get it down to about three or four different databases. Once again, this is not every database that we own. Now I want to talk a little bit about keywords. You may start your search very broadly and then find you get too many results. What you want to do is take your research topic in a certain direction by looking at the keywords underneath the record. There's two ways to do that. Under subjects here you can see what words the system uses to describe that topic. And if you click on the title of the record, you will also get some subject terms there. And that is where the abstract is. You can also expand the subject control on the left side of the screen to get more ideas. Again, this is where you can take your research project or if you feel that the system may be using a different word for your idea, this is a good way to find out what word they're using for your, for your research topic. Now I'm going to click on advanced search where we can learn some advanced keyword 
functions, as well as how to search for specific images and graphs and illustrations. Now, as you're probably aware, you can search Argentina inflation as keywords, and it looks for Argentina and inflation anywhere in the document. You can also use the limiter not in case you want to take out certain words and you're getting too many results. This is useful if you're researching a broad topic and there are a lot of different subcategories and you want to concentrate on something specific. So you're going to take out inflation. Argentina, not inflation. Also, if you scroll down, this is how you can search for images down at the bottom. If you need a graph or a chart of inflation in Argentina, you can search only for charts and graphs. Illustrations, diagrams, photographs, maps. I like that. That's neat. If you go over to language, you can search the two or three languages that you may be most comfortable with. If you select English and you'd like to select more, hold down the control key and now we can do English and French. You can do multiple languages that way. 